What's going on beautiful people? So this is a bonus video where we're going to show you guys exactly how to connect and how to uh, configure your Echo, okay? So Echo is a AI platform that is connected to educators and it's going to take trades uh, based upon the, the educated style of trading. And we currently, at this time of, time of this recording, we have five different echoes, but I'm pretty sure developers have said that that's gonna go up to eight different echoes. So what does that mean? It's gonna be eight different strategies that you can plug into and connect directly to your Forex broker, and the AI will trade on your account, giving you back a return. Now, the average return is one to 3% a day. Um, sometimes it's great, sometimes it's better than that, sometimes it's less than that, depending on the financial system and the financial markets, but it's all automated money uh, that is being made for you without you having to do anything. So what most people do when they join our community is that they educate themselves, they have a, a separate account where they learn to trade on and then they also have a separate amount of money that they automate and then therefore they have two streams of income. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing guys is I'm gonna be transitioning over to my laptop to show you guys exactly how you can onboard yourself with that. Um, now before I get started, please remember that Echo is an add-on, so you might not necessarily have this. So if you don't have this, because you just have the Elite Pack, which is fine, but you're gonna have to add Echo in order for you to get access to what I'm about to show you. Um, to do so, you need to go to your uh, office2.eaconomy.io website. Once you're on that website, what you then need to do is then go to orders and go to place an order, and then you wanna scroll down and you wanna add Echo to your portfolio. Now, once you have that, um, then everything I'm about to say in this video will make sense. Um, so make sure you have that subscription done if you are interested in automating um, a percentage of your money utilizing the financial markets, okay? So without further ado, let's transition to the laptop and go through this information. Peace. Okay guys, so how do you connect your Echo? Okay, so first we wanna go to our Forex and we wanna go to Echo. Now again, as I said before in the previous video, uh, have you not, had you not subscribed to Echo, this won't appear. So make sure you add it um, to your so, to your package before you go through this video because it won't make any sense. All right. So you want to go to activate now. Once you do so, it's going to open. Ask you to open your Telegram. Okay. So make sure that whatever application you are using this on. So let's say you're using it on your laptop or your iPad that you have Echo. You know you have Telegram downloaded on that particular piece of hardware. Okay. So let's go to open Telegram, and it's going to take me to this web panel right here. And then all you guys are gonna do is you're gonna go to Method Traders. Well, okay, let's go back to Dashboard. So you're gonna see at the beginning, it's gonna say My Profile, it's gonna say Echo Forex, it's gonna say Notifications, it's gonna say Support, and it's gonna say Synchronized Subscriptions, okay? All we're going to do is once we've done that, you wanna go to Echo Forex, and then you have, you know, if you click on Products, it's going to then give you a list of the what the different, how the different Echoes trade. So you can pick what trading strategy you would like for Echo to trade. Um, I personally use Echo 1 um, and Echo 2, um, but you know, I, I, I mess about with each of them to see like, you know, this, or this, this, this one prefer me, does that one prefer me, do you know what I mean? So it's not like you have to only use Echo 1 and Echo 2, they're just the ones that I personally have been using, okay? Um, so with Meritrader 4, you click on here, and then you probably won't have a, an account connected. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to open web panel, okay? So it's gonna open a whole new page, and then you want to sign in. So you want to use your email. So in this case, I'm going to use my email. It's then going to send me a notification to my Telegram, right? So it's going to send me a one-time password, so OTP, right? I'm going to come here, copy it, come here, and then I'm going to paste it. Okay, so now it is, I'm on my online portal and everything should be there. Now you guys, you won't see total metal traders and you won't see total close trades because you haven't necessarily connected your account. So what we're gonna do guys, is that now we're gonna go over to what's called view trades. Um, and I'm actually gonna disconnect my MetaTrader so that you guys can actually see it for yourself and how we set it up. So I'm actually gonna delete this and I'm going to now reconnect it. So let's say for example, you are new to Mastermind, you are new to Echo, um, you would then first have to go to your inbox of whatever broker that you manifested. So at the time of this recording, our main broker, Blackwell, is available, but at the time of this recording, MT5 is not available to connect to Echo, okay? But MT5 is coming out in the next week or so, so please do expect that, that you know, when you watch this recording, you will also be able to connect your MT5, uh, this one, yeah. All right, cool. So let's do this. So I'm gonna copy it, 
and then I'm going to go back to my echo, right? And now I'm going to add MetaTrader 4, right? So add MetaTrader. As you can see, it says MetaTrader 4 now, but there will be a MetaTrader 5 there at some point, right? So you click on this and then it says select your broker. So the demo account I just made just for the sake of this video is on Vantage. And then obviously the demo server, I believe was demo 02. So Vantage International Demo 02, right? So I'm gonna come back here, Vantage International Demo 02, right? And then it's gonna say, what's your login? So the login was the MT4 login, right? So I'm gonna come back here. I'm gonna paste the login. And in the password, I'm gonna go copy and paste the password. Okay. And then uh, let's say, for example, I don't want it to take four trades. I'll leave it four trades, but let's say I don't want to risk a large amount of my account. I would say, look, I don't want to lose any more than 10% of my account at any one time. Should that ever happen? So I'm going to leave it at 10%, right? And then I'm going to press add new meta trader account. Now, once that's done, it's going to add your account. And as you can now can see, it is saying that my account is running, that my account is here and it's actually there. Now, how do we know if our account is running? Yes or no. Okay. How do we know this? All right. So the first thing first, we, before we go any further, we want to make sure that we connect an echo to our account. So we're going to click the three digits on this little, not the three digits, the, the hyperlink, the blue, where my uh, MT4 login uh, ID is. We're going to click that. And then we want to say, okay, that's all the, that's all the updated. So then we want to go to, after we've clicked that, we then want to go to invalid account. Whoops, I must have done the wrong login details. Uh, okay, let's do, let's work that one out. All right. So, Vantage International demo, Vantage International demo, and then I'm pretty sure I'll copy and paste it everything, but we go again. Uh, boom. And then did I miss out a digit here? Oh, I know what's going on. Okay. There was a space. So if I, I'm keeping I'm keeping this in the video because I want you guys to see that that's probably something that might be happening, right? So I update, I'm gonna try again. <laughs> I'm keeping all of this in the video, I don't care. Right? So once that's updated, um, then we should be able to see it log in now. All right, so once you're done, it should say successful, right? It's successfully added, and then we're gonna press OK, and we're gonna go to VMet Trader now, and it should be connected. Boom! All right, it should be um, have our expiry date. It should have running. It should have refresh, and our echo should be connected. Now we haven't connected that echo, I don't believe. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to connect our echo to it by going to VM Action, and then gonna go to Configure, and I'm then going to choose the echo that I want it to trade on. So let's say I want it to trade on echo one. It would then tell me what, how echo one trades. So the artificial intelligence algorithm employs a strategic high risk to reward model where every dollar at stake is meticulously aimed to yield a minimum of a 2% return. The approach enters center of uh, the approach centers on in-depth analysis of chart patterns, harmonic patterns, and correlations among Forex pairs, prioritizing calculated risk. But if that wasn't enough for you, you can say, you know what, eh, I'm gonna go to number five, right? The artificial intelligence algorithm employs a train strategy rooted in one of the oldest, most robust Japanese charting methods, operating based upon price action, market trade analysis, and leverages historical patterns to inform and trade. So you might want that trade, right? For example, or you say, for example, you want number three, focus on a 
discipline and strategy, the artificial intelligence algorithm emphasizes consistency and long-term profitability over quick gains from high-risk trades. Its approach prioritizes stability and sustainable growth in the trading landscape, right? So again, you can pick and choose whichever one you want to take. I would suggest for now, just stick with Echo 1, Echo 2, um, and I've heard some good things about Echo 5, okay? So that's that. Now, in terms of, let's just click Echo 1 just for now, all right? So in terms of risk management, you can use smart lot size, which again, if you read it, all orders will be using lot size after calculating the risk percentage with the provided stop loss pips. If the trade idea has a stop loss, the stop loss from this trade will be executed, okay? Um, so if you want to add, add a step loss, you know, if there's a stop loss that has been added to the, to the, to the, to the trade, it will automatically be added and it will also automatically calculate the lot size used for your size account, okay? If you want to have a fixed lot, lot, lot size because you want it to trade a particular way of, of trading and you just want a fixed lot size for every trade, then you can use fixed lot size or you can do risk management, which is like, look, I just want to risk a certain amount of percent of my account per trade. So if you want to risk 3% of your account per trade, you click 3% and you want your stop loss to be no more than 30 pips, then you can do that, right? So then I'll go to configure trade account and it will now configure my account. So any trade that the algorithm takes, it's gonna take 3% per trade and it's gonna give me a fair pip stop loss, for example, right? And then you know it's all done because if you go back to your dashboard, you will have your AI services, which are, which are the five echoes. And then you have one MetaTrader connected. And if you go to view MetaTrader, what do you now see? It says connected, trading, uh, running, refresh balance, which if you wanna refresh your balance to make sure that it's updated, you can do that and then go from there as well, okay? So very, very simple. Now, if for whatever reason, it bugs out, right? You can go to VM action, and you can go to reboot your VM, so reboot your virtual computer, and it will reboot. If at any point, you see that it says paused here, so if I click on pause trading, you will see that it says paused. It might mean that you've clicked around too much, so you wanna come over here and go to resume trading, okay? Very, very, very simple. And guys, that's how you connect your Echo. Now, once you are set up, you don't have to do anything. So I'm just gonna end the video. <laughs> Peace. <laughs> all jokes aside, that's literally all we do. Um, once you've done that, it literally takes trades for you and you don't have to do anything at all to make it work. Uh, that's why I just made a joke and they said I'm closing the video because that's that's literally all you have to do. All right, so guys, now you've been through the whole process, right? You've been through the education. You should know how to get through to the educational section. You know how to get through to the copy and paste section. And now you know how to get through through the automation section. You should have everything that you need in order to set yourself up. If you do get stuck, please go back to the person that referred you to us and ask for help. Um, or ask the community chat. So we have a main chat, which is a mastermind community chat. We also have a personal chat if you wanna ask questions in there to make sure that every single one of you gets the help that you need to make sure you are set up on every single thing that you have access to with us at EA economy slash mastermind. That being said, guys, I'll see you on the next video and take care, God bless, peace.